Hey guys, it's Mike with another FL Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sidechain kick and bass in FL Studio 12. Why might you want to do this? Well, kick and bass are very important elements in almost all forms of music. Unfortunately, they occupy pretty much the same frequency range. So in a track, if your kick and bass are on the whole time, the track can become very muddy and you don't really want that. Every time the kick hits, you want it to be clear and the rest of the time you want your bass to come through thick and present as well. So what sidechaining allows you to do is create space for the kick every time it hits by taking volume away from the bass. So let's just get straight into how you can do this. I'm going to be demonstrating this technique on an original song we've made called Sparks and I'll just let you hear the result in the drop. Oh, I told myself that I was done Done with chasing dreams that I don't need forever but these sparks could light a fire in me So I'm going to solo the kick and the bass line on their own and show you what's going on. All right. All right, Brad. So basically, we've got a sub try and two kicks. And if I swap this onto waveform mode and you look really closely, you can actually see that each time the kick hits, volume is taken away from the sub bass. So what you're doing to set up this side chain, I'm just going to remove the one I have currently. You select the mixer insert where your kick is, and then you send it to your sub bass by clicking here. You right click on this and go side chain to this track. Now you've created this side chain. So the information from the kick is being sent through this channel. The sound itself isn't being sent, but just the transient information, the shape of the wave. On the sub bass insert, what you want to do is add a fruity limiter. So you just go select plugin fruity limiter. Now I've disabled the one that I currently have acting because I'm going to do this from scratch. So on the limiter, what you want to do is click onto the compression side of things, right click on this side chain option. Mine says kick 13 because that was the sample I used, but you want to select the kick that you've used. Then what you want to do is you want to lower your threshold a little bit and up the ratio. And then I'm going to press play and we're going to do the rest just by ear. I'm going to show you guys how to set all the dials that are important. So you want to leave the gain where it is and the saturation where it is. The threshold needs to be low enough that volume is taken away from the bass each time the kick hits. So in this case, my threshold is too high and no volume is being taken away. If I lower my threshold, as I lower the threshold, more and more volume is going to be taken away. And then increase the ratio. You want to keep the attack time very low so that volume is taken away as soon as the transient of the kick appears. And then you want to adjust the release time depending on the sort of genre of the song you're using. On other songs we made like Scared to be Lonely, which I'll just flash up a little clip of, the release was really huge because you wanted the kick to dominate the entire track. But on a song like this, we didn't want the release to be too high, we just wanted it to be appropriate, and I'll show you what the differences are. A short release time can result in the kick distorting slightly. And they're not really making much space and a long release time will give this really like sucking up effect on the bass line. Which does work for some styles of music but it wasn't it wasn't gonna work for this song. But 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 Michael, yeah why would you high pass your kick? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but uh that is really all there is to it. There are loads of different ways to sidechain. For instance, I've only set it up to sidechain just the sub bass on its own. However, if you sent lots of instruments to one channel and made like an instrument bus, you could sidechain all of those instruments with the kick so that the kick took over every instrument in the mix. And this does work for some genres, especially like future bass. But for this track, we only wanted volume to be taken out of the bass. We didn't want volume taken away from the high energy stuff as well. So I'm just going to play play this song one more time just so that you can hear the effects of the side chaining and I'll keep the window open and you can visibly see the effects as well. Ever, these sparks could light a fire in me. Fire in me
so that really is all there is to it guys so i hope this helped you and see you in the next one